Welcome friends and family to the celebration of marriage between Lucas Sawyer Keenitz and Peyton Lynn Hansinger. I travel the world with you. It is the power of love that has brought us here today and has brought these two together and we're all here today to show our support for them as they make their transition from two into one. Wow. <laughs> The story of Lucas and Peyton began seven years ago in a place that I would have honestly never expected my brother to meet his future wife, a high school wrestling meet. After the wrestling meet, Peyton sent Lucas pictures of the event, trying to casually start conversation. What did Lucas do? Well, what any romantic Keenitz man would do. He failed to even send as much as a thank you. <laughs> A full year would go by before the spark reignited between these two. It was the night before senior prom, and Lucas had neither a date nor a ticket, but he did have the number of the girl who had sent him wrestling pictures a year ago. Today, we witness these two declare their commitment to this relationship and to one another through these vows. I, Lucas, promise you, Peyton, to always respect and admire you. I promise that your dreams will be my dreams, and I will do everything I can to make them a reality for the both of us. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you and comfort you. I promise to nurture and strengthen the love between us, to walk beside you hand in hand wherever life takes us together. I, Peyton, promise you, Lucas, to always respect and admire you and to appreciate you for who you are. I promise to be a witness to your life and place you and our family above any, everything else. I promise to love you fully wherever life takes us together. I present to you all, Mr. and Mrs. Keenitz. For those of you who can't see, the clock is a dragonfly, a symbol that holds meaning for Peyton. Whenever you face challenges in your relationship, work, or life, I want you to look at your clock. I want time to stand still, and I want you to remember how you felt in that first kiss, whether it was in Tennessee or with all of us.